thank you for returning. And now for your spoiler-free review of Argyle. As always, I am unpaid and unsponsored, which means I am biased-free. That's out of personal biases. So I'd like to start this one off with a forewarning. If you're a cat mom or a cat dad and kitties in any kind of peril make you nervous, maybe go ahead and skip this one. I mean, yes, there's a picture of a kitty in a backpack, but I did not think it would affect me like it did. Moving on. Explaining what Argyle is is kind of a pain in the ass because I feel like what we saw in the commercial is a very different movie than what we actually got. I mean, technically it is the movie, but to me it doesn't feel like the movie. But essentially there's this novelist who's very successful. Um, she writes spy books and she's traveling with her cat and then come to find out what she writes in her spy books is real, even though she didn't know it. And now a whole bunch of like spies and shit want her. That's all you need to know. Was it good? I mean, I was entertained. Okay, I say I was entertained, but that last third of the movie, I was very stressed out about the cat. So at that point, I didn't give a shit what happened to the rest of the characters. Could not have cared less. But like, if you're not a cat person, I'm also going to tell you, like, the last third of this movie feels like you're either watching a very different movie, or you took an edible about halfway through. And the CGI is abysmal. Like, had they put more of the budget behind it? Maybe, you know, use some practical effects. I'd be on board. And it's really long. It's like two and a half hours. But do you know who I have beef with? Like, legitimately. The hair and makeup department needs to be ashamed of themselves. Because number one, why does Henry Cavill have G.I. Joe hair? Think about any man in the 90s being portrayed as an army ranger. Think about any 80s douchebag stepdad. This is a handsome man. What happened here? Number two. Poor Dua Lipa. And this isn't an attack on her. Somebody did her dirty. The poor girl's hair looks fried. And I mean that con air wet to straight. The sizzle means it's working fried. And I couldn't find a picture of it, but Sam Rockwell had frosted tips. 2001 frosted tips. I won't say don't watch it. Because, you know, at least it was entertaining. I will say just be prepared. And maybe visit your alternative hobbies about halfway through. So because of all this, it's going to get two very different scores. You're going to get cat mommy score, and then you're going to get regular candy score. Regular candy score, 7 out of 10. Cat mommy score, 0. Full 0. And not for the reason you're thinking. Stay tuned if you want full spoilers. If not, okay, bye.